The holiday season, parents struggle to afford gifts for their kids, but this year could be even worse because of inflation. Yeah, that's right. Some parents may need to set expectations that Santa may not be able to bring everything on that list. Uh, psychologist Dr. Jeff Gradier is joining us now with some tips to help navigate it. It's a tough conversation. Dr. Jeff, good to see you. Welcome back. Always great to see you both. Thank you. Well, so let's talk about this because it has been a tough year for a lot of families out there. Is it a good idea for parents to let kids know that money may be tight? And if it is a good idea, how do you go about saying that? Well, I think it depends on the age of the child and what their conception of money is all about, whether they can understand that conversation mm -hmm. first and foremost. So usually we'll talk with kids you know, eight and above, maybe even 10, 11, or 12 about the money uh, situation, but it should always be phrased in a way where it's positive. Yes, money is tight. This is happening all over the world, all over the nation, but this is an opportunity for us to come together and be much more wise as a family, as a family unit in how we go about dealing with money. Okay, so Dr. Jeff, we know it could be a little bit stressful for parents who want to give their kids things during the holiday. Do you have some advice for the parents who don't want to disappoint their kids? Yeah, well, I think many of us are in this boat, right? So uh, with the economy being as tough as it is, the money just isn't there to buy all of the things that the kids want. So I think it's very important that we teach our kids the lesson of the importance of memories and experiences. So instead of spending thousands on gifts or hundreds on gifts, perhaps putting the money together to take a little weekend uh, away uh, close to home, uh, maybe renting a little bungalow, or even getting some arts and crafts and putting some pictures together that we can share during the holidays. Those memories last forever. I, I, I want you all to remember this. Uh, back when we were kids and our parents brought us all these toys, how long did it last? We played right. with them for about three days and yeah. then they yeah. went right into the jump peak, right? Right, yeah. the right battery, into the jump peak. the batteries peak. died. That's right? right. Battery died and you forget, you forget the toy. You, but you, you know, a, a lot of kids might compare themselves to their peers, to each other, especially with social media. Kids mm -hmm. are on it at a really young age. Researchers, in fact, uh, from the University of Cambridge, there was this, uh, this study saying that just feeling like they don't have enough money can lead to lower self-esteem, anxiety, behavioral problems. Um, so, you know, what can parents do about that? Should parents try to stop kids from comparing themselves to other kids? Or is there a... Is there a better way to do it? Because I, I think I don't know if it's possible. You say just don't compare yourself. I, I don't think that necessarily works, right? Yeah, you're, you're absolutely right. No, that doesn't work. Just saying stop doing that. Right. No, what it really is about is showing them a different way uh, in order to see what it is that their friends are doing or what their peer group has uh, by showing them the importance of family, for example. Yes, it's great that they have all these things, but look at what else they have. They have their brothers and sisters. Um, um, you know, they go to school every day, and those things are also important, too. And guess what? You have the same thing. You have a family. You are able to go to school. You have clothes on your back. So it's really getting them to recalibrate as to the worth as to what some of these things are instead of just trying to shoo them away because you know they're going to end up doing just the opposite. So, Dr. Jeff, why does a family's financial uh, situation actually impact a child's self-esteem? Because in a lot of situations, you feel like kids don't even realize that they may not have what everyone else has. Right, right. Yeah, and it, it really is about the worth, right? What is the worth? We don't want to put dollar values on things. We want to put emotions onto things. Uh, we want to show them the importance of having the human connections. Those are the things that are worth more than anything else. And again, showing them that it is really important that these things last much, much longer than just some of the material things that we see that their friends have. So teaching them their own value. It's not just about what your friends have but what is it that you have what is it that you can be grateful for and by the way you can talk the talk but you better walk the walk so you have to model that for them yeah. too right right what an important lesson and and the younger you can learn that lesson about the value of relationships and family and friends mm -hmm. and what's important uh mm -hmm. the better dr jeff always good to see you thanks so much for joining us well today. i'm a rich man because i have a relationship with both of you and that makes you me do. very very happy well we feel the and same. i love the artwork in the back <laughs> next time we'll have to have you on to talk about the artwork in the back you got it <laughs> take care <laughs>